Thyroid cancer is um, typically found incidentally. It is not painful. It typically does not cause any signs or symptoms until very, very late in the game. So the vast majority of thyroid cancers are found when a um, primary care physician or a gynecologist is doing a physical exam on a patient or when a patient has an imaging study such as a CAT scan or an MRI for a completely different reason and they see a nodule in the thyroid and then they send them for um, more diagnostic tests. Uh, there are patients or there are people who are more at risk for thyroid cancer than others and uh, those patients certainly should have uh, a, at the very least a physical exam and perhaps an ultrasound as well. And those are patients who have uh, been exposed to radiation uh, at an earlier age or at an early age, those who have a strong family history of thyroid cancer, uh, those type of patients or those type of people probably should have uh, a more thorough investigation. The treatment for thyroid cancer is typically uh, surgical um, in the form of a thyroidectomy. So the thyroid gland is uh, removed and um, usually that's curative. Uh, in addition, uh, patients are given radioactive iodine treatment in the form of a liquid or a pill and uh, this completes the treatment. Papillary thyroid cancer tends to spread through the lymph nodes. Up to 50% of patients will come to their doctor with papillary thyroid cancer with lymph nodes already involved, either in the central compartment of the neck or in the lateral neck. Up to 25% of patients may have a recurrence of papillary thyroid cancer after initial treatment. The recurrence typically happens in the neck and fortunately it does not negatively impact the patient's prognosis. If I had to summarize the prognosis for thyroid cancer, I would have to say excellent. Uh, overwhelmingly, the majority of thyroid cancers, as I said, are papillary thyroid cancer, and the prognosis for papillary thyroid cancer is uh, wonderful. Uh, most patients uh, go on and leave a f uh, lead a full, uh, healthy uh, life uh, with thyroid replacement therapy. There are other types of thyroid cancer which are fortunately less common that have a very poor prognosis. Anaplastic thyroid cancer, which is, comprises only 2 to 4 percent of the thyroid cancers, is probably the most lethal human cancer. Medullary thyroid cancer, which is a, uh, also a rare form of cancer, also has a very poor prognosis. One of the uh, enigmas when it comes to thyroid cancer is the fact that thyroid cancer is on the rise. And in 1980, it was the 20th most common cancer. Now it's the eighth. It is the fastest growing can new cancer amongst women. So um, what we don't know and what we don't understand is why thyroid cancer is, the incidence of thyroid cancer is rising all the time. Our research here at the Penn State Hershey Medical Center uh, on thyroid cancer encompasses uh, many different aspects. We have um, studies going on now looking at risk factors for thyroid cancer to try and explain why thyroid cancer is on the rise. Those include um, Three Mile Island, uh, radon, uh, obesity and diabetes, all of these questions are being looked at as we speak and, are for on, and we have ongoing research projects. I do believe that there needs to be more of an interest in um, the oncology community, uh, in the government communities that do funding of, thyroid, of cancer research in thyroid cancer as an entity because I do believe we're going to be hearing more and more about thyroid cancer as time goes on. Pennsylvania has one of the highest rates of thyroid cancer in the United States. Reasons are unknown. And um, like I said, I think we're going to be hearing more and more about thyroid cancer.